I'll never take this back. Our fate is already sealed. Oh, but is it all right for him to just blindly follow me? I'm kind of worried for him. Hey, hey. Eh, uh, yes? Where are we going? You see, uh, we're gonna see my parents. Forgive me, I almost forgot. I'm Isabella Ali Rotenstein. From now on, till the end of time, I'll be in your care. Rottenstein? Even when surprised, he's adorable. I just love him. Oh yeah, I'm Ursh Schneider, the second son of the Schneider Company. <gasps> Ursh's last name, it's here, it's Schneider. I'll be Isabella Ali Schneider in the future. But if you're the Duke's daughter, would you be able to marry into a merchant family like mine? Uh, well... Hmm, if they say no, should we just run away together? We're just, we're just gonna elope? Oh, that makes me so happy. Hold on, rest easy. By my calculations, everything will turn out just fine. I have replayed this game so many times that I know the plot like the back of my hand. Isabella's family follows the game's logic. I can bulldoze my way through. Isabella's family consisted of uh, her father, the current Rosenstein Duke and Rosario Kingdom's prime minister, her mother, um, the younger sister of the king, making her a former princess. Oh, they married for true love. They have five children, two boys and three girls, with Isabella being the youngest. The eldest sister is the bride to the neighboring country's crown prince. And, for the record, they also married for love. The eldest brother associates frequently with the Order of the Mages and is engaged to the daughter of the Mage Division's minister. The second son belongs to the Order of the Imperial Knights. His fiance is the daughter of the head of the Imperial Knights. The second daughter is still attending school, but is already a count in the Borderlands. Are you seeing where I'm going with this? The Rupsenstein family includes the neighboring prince, the Order of the Mages, the Order of the Imperial Knights, and a count from the Borderlands. That's a lot of political influence enough to be considered dangerous by other nobles. In the game, Isabella falls in love with the second prince and was able to force an engagement with him. The second prince was so indifferent about everything that he didn't care who he was going to marry, so he accepted the proposal. During the main plot line, however, the heroine thawed his frozen, apathetic heart and they both fell in love. Fueled by jealousy, Isabella strived to ruin the heroine. Eventually, Isabel is exposed for her crimes and then gets convicted. The engagement was annulled and the Rothenstein's family rank was demoted for being found guilty of sabotage. She's either executed, banished, or forced to become a commoner. Which means if I marry a commoner before all that, wouldn't there be some type of balance? If I'm not engaged to the prince, I wouldn't have a reason to terrorize the heroine and thus I don't have to die by execution. Moreover, I'll happily marry my darling Ursh. I'll get my happy ending with Ursh. Isabella? Huh? Um, I don't really understand, but if Isabella has a plan, I leave myself in your hands. He... he called me Isabella. How wonderful! Ursh, I will definitely take care of you! That should be my line. 